box called what? Does anybody know? There's small, tiny particles, yep, yeah, in the back. Do you have an idea? Atom. I'll give you a hint. It starts with an A and ends with Adam. <laughs> yeah, so they're called atoms, and atoms are made out of even smaller particles called subatomic particles. And there are three different types of subatomic particles. We have two that sit in the middle of what we call a nucleus. Can anybody name one of them? And it's okay if you can't. Electron? Sorry? Sorry, proton. Proton, exactly. So one of the particles we have in the nucleus is a proton. And protons are positively charged. Okay, so we have to remember that. Protons are? Positive. Positive, perfect. All right, there is one more other type of subatomic particle that we can find in the nucleus. Does anybody have any idea what that is? Neutral. Neutron, perfect. And like the name suggests, a neutron is neutral, meaning it has no charge. All right, so there is one more type of charge that likes to float around the nucleus. Does anybody know what that one's called? Yep. That's okay if you don't know. I give you a hint, it starts with an E. It's where the name electricity comes from. Yep. Electron. Electron, amazing. So electrons, unlike protons, are negatively charged, okay? And atoms really are friendly, so they like to share their electrons. So sometimes they can give away their electrons, and sometimes they can receive electrons, okay? And when they have a different number of electrons, that creates an imbalance of charges. And that imbalance of charges is what causes static electricity, okay? So this big shiny ball here is what we can use to generate static electricity. Does anybody know what this ball is called? It's a pretty fancy name. It's called the Van de Graaff Electrostatic Generator. It's named after Robert Van de Graaff, who invented it over almost a hundred years ago, and he used it as a particle accelerator. We just use it for some fun hairstyles now, but it's still pretty cool. So how this works is this is an electron thief. So, like we learned earlier, all matter, including us, is made up of atoms. And atoms like to share their electrons. Perfect. So when I turn this Van de Graaff electrostatic generator machine on, it is going to steal electrons from anything in its general vicinity. So it's going to steal it from the air, it's going to steal it from me if I'm touching it, and my electrons are going to go out of my body, into the machine, down through this pipe, and into the ground. So that means all I'm left is with what? All I'm left with is protons, and if I only have protons, that means I have a certain type of charge. Does anybody know what type of charge that is? What are protons? Positive. So if I only have protons, I'm going to be? Positive, right. And so like magnets, these charges can repel and attract each other. So if I have two different charges, do we think they're going to attract or repel? Attract. 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 Yes, yeah, so if you've heard the saying opposites attract, they're going to attract. Now, what if I have two positive charges? What do we think is going to happen? Repel. Repel. Amazing. So if my body has no more electrons and I'm fully positively charged, all of my strands of hair are going to become positively charged as well. And that means they're going to try to do what? Expand. They're going to try and stick out and get as far away from my head as possible because they are all positively charged and all repelling. So, who wants to see this in action? I can't hear you. Who wants to see this in action? There we go. All right. So, let's try with a mop head first. So, I'm going to put this guy on top of our Van de Graaff generator. It's going to be like his hair. 
up. So I'm going to put this right on top, new hairstyle, just like a wig. Perfect. So when I turn this machine on, what's going to happen? It's all going to float and go crazy, okay? So let's get a countdown. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. try it again but with a volunteer this time. So can we get a brave volunteer from the audience? Ooh, okay. First person to touch their knees. There you go. Alright, you are going to be our first volunteer. Awesome. Alright, so Akian is going to stand on this plastic platform here. The reason we have him stand on this platform is because it acts as an insulator. The charges cannot pass through this insulator. So, when we start to steal all of his electrons and they go into the ground, they're going to stay in the ground and they're not going to be able to come back up into his body. Alright, so Akin, I'm going to have you give a fast high five. Whoa, you got a little bit of a zap there, right? You're going to give a fast high five and you're going to keep your hand on the ball, okay? So Akin's going to keep his hand on the ball for the entire time that the machine is on. And because you are our special volunteer, I'm going to give you a fancy prop. So right now, all we have here are some tins that we use for just baking. I'm going to have you stick your hand out like this, and I'm just going to place that right on top, okay? So when I turn on the machine, the electrons are going to be stolen from the tins. They're going to go through Akin's body, into the Van Graaff machine, down into the ground, and we'll get to see a really cool effect. All right, are we ready? Yeah? I can't hear you. Ready? 